All right, welcome back for the third part of One Man's Faith. We're continuing on looking, looking at this, uh, um, at this day of jubilee. You know, you know when it comes and and what do we do with it? And we're looking at the fact that Jesus came, and and he did what he said he would do. He brought release. He, he, he brought liberty to the oppressors. He brought healing. He brought the gospel to the poor and he preached it. And if, if we'll take it in, it will change our lives. Remember little Zacchaeus? In uh, Luke 19, it says Zacchaeus stopped. Well, Zacchaeus wanted to see Jesus. He got up in a tree. Jesus saw him and said, hey, come down. I'm, you're going to you're paying the bill today for lunch. And so they went and, and it says Zacchaeus stopped and said to the Lord, behold, Lord, half of my possessions I will give to the poor. And if I have defrauded anyone of anything, I will give back four times as much. And Jesus said to him, today salvation came to this house. You see, Zacchaeus wasn't a bad guy, but but he liked money, and so you know, you know these these tax collectors would take more than they could, you know, to boost their revenue. And so Zacchaeus sees what he's doing just by walking with Jesus, by hearing Jesus speak, and he said, "Listen, hey, I'll give." half of what I have to the poor. He didn't have to. Jesus didn't ask him to. But he, he knew who Jesus was. He was probably hearing Jesus speak as they were walking. And he says, I'm going to give half. And listen, if I've defrauded anybody, I'll make it up to them four times. He heard the word and he acted, he acted upon it. He heard the word and he acted upon it. Jesus, you know, even brings help to our families. The, the, the year of Jubilee, the, the reset can bring help to your families. In Isaiah 54, verse 13, it says, All your sons will be taught of the Lord, and the well-being of your sons will be great. All you See, if we will learn to teach our young people to walk in the ways of God, Proverbs says that they will not depart from it. When they are old, they will not depart from it. Mom and dads, listen, your kids are your responsibility, and God's going to hold you to that. You're not going to be able to go to stand in front of God and say, God, it was that school system. They ruined my kid. No. Not if you brought them up in the nurture and the admonition of the Lord. And listen, if you haven't been doing that, then stop right now, get on your knees and say, God, forgive me, and bring them back to the Lord. Say, listen, hey, we're going to have a family, we're going to have a family meeting. We are changing the way things are here. Jesus will become the center of this family. We will have devotions every day and we will love it. We will go to church together and we will worship the Lord. And we'll talk about the situations that we come into and how we should handle them. And don't argue with me. You know, you could, you could, you could say, I'm sorry. We've blown it. But we want to get back on track because we want you to know who the Lord is and to walk in His ways. Let Him bring Jubilee back to your families. He has Jubilee even for your dreams and visions. Did you realize that? Psalm 37 says, Delight yourself in the Lord and He will give you the desires of your heart. What dream and vision has God given you to do? What has He placed on your heart to do? Do it. Do it. Don't wait. Don't try to say, well, I'm not ready. You are. 
Jesus is behind you and he will see you through it. He places dreams and visions in your life so that you will have a desire to want to accomplish something and he wants you to accomplish it. He made you the way that he made you so that you would accomplish it. Let nothing come in your way. If you're not sure, say, Father, I have this vision. I have this dream. Is this from you? Do you want me to do it? And expect him to answer. He says, if you know how to give good gifts to your children when they ask, how much more will the Heavenly Father give good gifts to those that ask? See, so if you ask, and remember the verse in Matthew 7, ask and it shall be given to you. If you ask, expect it to be answered. Then expect it to be answered. Now, sometimes it can take a little bit of time, but continue. Continue to ask, God, is this where you want me to go? God, is this what you have for me to do? And expect him to answer. And then do it. Do it. Step out and do it. Say, okay, Father, how do I do this? Give me wisdom and insight and knowledge into how I'm to do this. Who do I talk to? Where do I go? What do I do? And do it. And do it. I, was, I, was, I, I heard a message by a man who knew in his heart he was to be a lawyer. But he got, he got what he thought were the study books on the, LAS, on the LSATs or the, L, or the LSATs or the L, I forgot how exactly what the term is. It's a special test that people have to take to even get into law school. Well, he failed miserably at that test, but he knew. And so he sent letters out anyway to colleges, all of them declining. But he knew of one college that was near where, where he lived. And so he went to the dean and he said, listen, my score's been bad, but I really want to be a lawyer. I believe that's what I've been called to do. All you got to do is say, go get your books and I'll be in. Go get your books. And the dean said, yeah, nice, nice try. You know, a lot, you know, a lot of people try to get in this place and many of them don't make it. And he said, you just tell me to go get my books. He sat outside the dean's office for seven days saying, are you going to tell me today to get, go, go get my books? He started four days before school was to start. And, and, those, and each, each day, it was almost like he was stalking the dean. He would say, are you... And he sat outside his office. He knew when he was coming in and when he was going out. He, you know, he timed him and said, okay, he's going to lunch. Okay, he's got this, he's got this. And every time he would say, Is it, are you going to tell me today to get my books? And the dean would just walk on by. Four days before school start. School started. Two days later, he's still sitting there. He's saying, are you going to tell me today to go get my books? The third day that school was in, the dean came by and said, go get your books. See, he wouldn't give up. He wouldn't give up. He knew he had that desire in his heart. And he pressed for it until he got it. Don't let anything stop you. Do what you feel you're called to do. Go out, do it. Don't stop. God's not going to chastise you for you trying to do something for him. In most cases, if it's not what he wants you to do, you'll either know it or he'll, he'll see that, you know, it's not right. This guy knew even though, you know, yes, there can be things that will come into our life. He had, he, had, he had five days there where he could have said, oh, well, I guess it's not God's will. But he didn't. He knew, he knew it was the desire of his heart. He knew that this is what he was supposed to do. What has God given you to do? 
Do not let it slide by. Do not let it slide by. He ended up working with kids in Uganda. He became known by the prime minister of Uganda because of the work that he did. He started a school in northern Uganda where the kids had been part of rebel bases and things like that. He was drawing them out of it and saying, listen, you have a destiny. You have a place to go. Let's get educated. And the Ugandan government knew what he was doing and applauded him for it. They one day called him and said, we want you to be consul of Uganda in the United States. He thought it was a joke. He said, okay, I'll do it. He is now uh, the Ugandan consul in, in uh, San Diego for, for the nation of Uganda. He's got diplomatic immuni 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 immunity. <laughs> because he's bringing Jesus out. What does Jesus want you to do? Jesus wants our light to shine so that others see him. And he does it by our going out and doing things in the workplace, not in church. But be set free. Go out. Find that desire. Let your year of Jubilee start in the desire that He has placed within you. Let your year of Jubilee start with your family and getting it, and getting it straight and bringing it in alignment so that you can rest assured your kids will grow up in the nurture and the admonition of the Lord. That's what God wants for you. Today is that day. Grasp hold of it. All right, I got to take a break. So... Let's take a break and I'll be right back.